double clutching excitement today when the pole position team races to find the answer to the secret. in California? Uh, I think it was 1849. Right. What's Daisy's score so far, Wheels? Am I done with my history lesson yet? Come on, Daisy. We're driving right through Gold Rush country, and it's an important part of our history. Just think, this place was once covered with gold mines. Exploring is a lot more fun than studying. <laughs> I wouldn't mind jogging after her. Dan, watch out! <laughs> oh, that was close. From now on, keep your eyes where they belong, on the road. This is a public highway, not one of our stunt shows. You're right, Tess. I'm sorry. Something's wrong with the electronic system. Rody, check it out. Let me see. Looks like a loose connection on one of the generators. We'll have to find the nearest gas station. Gas station? <laughs> Lots of luck. All we'll find around here are ghost town. Huh? I think I have an idea. I'm sure you do. Just leave everything to me. Come on, Kuma. You too, Rody. <laughs> driving that truck back there? Yeah, it just broke down. Where's the nearest town? Well, Vanity is about a mile from here. It has a small garage. Vanity? It's not much, but it's home. I can't imagine you living in a ghost town. <laughs> it's not that bad. Oh, by the way, my name's Susan Nelson. I'm Dan, Dan Darren. <laughs> oh, and this is Kuma. Hi, Kuma. Hi. What about me? Nobody introduces me. What's that? Oh, it's my radio. Must be a loose connection. Oh, wow, this is some car. Did you design it? I sure did. <coughs> uh, well, I, I had a lot of input. Oh, my darling. Oh, my darling. Oh, my darling Clementine. <laughs> I've got to get that radio fixed. <laughs> Found a town called Vanity. Head back about a mile and take the side road. I'll meet you there. Got it. Hang on, Daisy. We're heading for Vanity. Here they are. This 
is Susan. Her father's the mayor of Vanity. Hi. Glad to meet you. Uh, these are my sisters, Tess and Daisy. Dan mentioned how helpful you both are to him. I'm sure he has. Do they have the part? No, they had to order it. It won't get here till tomorrow. I better let Uncle Zachary know we're gonna be late. Okay, and I'll drive Susan home. Nothing serious? No, just an electronic connector. But it has to come from a couple hundred miles away. Exactly where are you located? A little town called Vanity. Vanity. I remember that place. I drove through Vanity about 10 years ago. It was a dying mining town then. I'm surprised it still exists. It's far from dying now. In fact, it looks really prosperous. That's strange. Well, keep me informed and have a good time. We'll try. Vanity is sure off the beaten track. What do people do around here? Oh, I guess about the same as any place else. Do you have an industry? Just the gold mine by the lake. It supports the town. A gold mine? Well, I thought it was... Uh, there's my house, the white one. <laughs> Thanks for the lift. Hey, how about going for a ride tomorrow? Sure, give me a call. Let me see your registration. Here you are, sir. Well, looks in order. You staying in town long? Just till our truck is fixed. You can't park in the city limits overnight. But our truck broke down and we're waiting for a part to come. I'm sorry about that. But we got an ordinance that says no non-resident vehicles can park in vanity overnight. But, Sheriff... You got to move it. Do I make myself clear? What do we do now? We have no choice. Good time. <laughs> Say hi to Susan for me. Come on, we're just going for a drive. We'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> and don't you tangle with the law anymore. I should have been here. I know how to handle them. Sure you do. Huh? Quiet, radio. You know, Kuma, you really are a cuddly character. Where do you want to go? Anywhere is fine. How about the lake? The lake? We can't go there. Why? Uh, it's contaminated. Nobody can go there. It's forbidden. Come on, I don't want to swim in it. I just want to see it. Uh, I don't know. It's the sheriff. Nothing to worry about. We're not doing anything wrong. What's the problem, sir? I caught you speeding. But Sheriff Webster, he was only doing 30. Your father wouldn't be happy if he knew you were driving around in this hot rod, young lady. Hot rod! Anyway, I caught you speeding. How about stepping outside? But, Sheriff, really... Just put your hands on the car. That's it. Come on, Sheriff. Isn't this going a little too far? Son, you are in a heap of trouble. We 
Wheels, you're not going to believe this. Is Dan with you? Yeah, why? Well then, I'd believe anything. Tell Tess we're heading for jail. Well, I'm releasing you, but I'll hold your license until you leave town. What about my car? I impounded it. It's locked up and back. Oh, no. Brody, you really know how to handle the local law, don't you? I can't figure it out. It's like they're doing everything to make us go away. It's as if they had something to hide. Yeah, like a town secret. But what would be so important that they'd want to hide it from everyone? I know. They're afraid we're going to steal their gold. That's ridiculous. Uncle Zachary said there's no more gold around here. Hey, wait. Susan did mention a gold mine. She did? How interesting. Listen, drop me off at her house. I bet she can explain what's going on here. OK. And while you do that, I'll find the mine and check it out. Oh, boy. We get to explore a gold mine. Not you. You better stay at the truck in case Uncle Zachary tries to contact us. How boring. There they are. You want me to stop them? Let's wait and see what they do. Don't take any chances. Do I ever? Bye. No trespassing, private property. I think they're trying to tell us something. Wheels, let's see if you're as good a prospector as you are a driver. Great. I hope your sensors can tell me if there's gold in this mine. If there's any gold, I'll smell it out. Who's there? All right, oh. young lady, what are you doing here? I just wanted to look around. I've always been interested in old mines. And obviously you didn't come here to steal any gold. Of course not. Oh, no? Maybe I better check your car. Fancy finding this gold nugget hidden in your car. Gold? I didn't. You're under arrest. Dan. Hi, Wheels. Daisy, is Dan back? Not yet. What's wrong? Tess was arrested. The sheriff caught her at the mine. Oh, no. I've got to find Dan right away. Chocolate's my favorite flavor. <laughs> mine, too. Uh, Susan, I wanted to ask you about that gold mine. Uh, my father doesn't like anybody talking about it. But why? That shouldn't be any big secret. I mean, if you ask me, something odd is going on here. Do you really think so? Dan! Dan! Daisy, what's she doing here? I looked all over for you. Tess is in jail. The sheriff must have planted that gold nugget. But why? It just doesn't make any sense. Nothing makes sense in this town. And the only way I'll get out of here is if I post $10,000 bail. $10,000? That's crazy. I better contact Uncle Zachary. $10,000? I don't believe it. I tell you, Uncle Zach, there's something weird going on here. It seems to me all this is connected with that gold mine. Listen, here's what we should do. Why not? I helped him with it. Look, Kuma's here. Get your hands off my steering wheel. See you at the gold mine. I 
tell you those kids mean trouble. Don't worry, I've got everything under control. What's that? After them! Don't let him get away! They took the bank, Dan. They're following us. Great! After you lose them, meet me back at the truck. Watch my dust! I don't care. Stay after him. Well, you're free to leave now. Your uncle sent the money to release you and your car. Great. Welcome back, Tess. I've been waiting for you. Where do we go now? To the mine. Rhody, where are you? I can't shake them off. They know all the shortcuts. Keep them busy a little longer. I'm meeting Tess at the gold mine. But how will you get there? Don't worry. I have an idea. You be real careful. Don't you worry, Daisy. I will be. I mean, be careful of my bike. Huh? Race is over. Gotta get Dan. Okay, Darren, I'm gonna lock you up. It's an animal. Hi there, Sheriff. Your game is over. By now, I'll have all the evidence I need. This is a recording. We've been tricked. Those kids are on to us. We've got to do something about the mine. There's only one thing we can do. We're going back into town to get some dynamite. There's got to be a shortcut by the lake. Looks abandoned to me. Sure is dark in here. Turn on the lights. Dan here? Nope. You're not gonna believe it, but he's riding my bike to the gold mine. We've gotta warn him. They're going to dynamite it. Oh, no! <laughs> Good. Rody's back. Come on, let's go. <sighs> What's that light? <laughs> Dynamite is set to go off. Should we do it? We have no other choice. Unless you want to spend your life in jail. We must be under the lake. Well, wheels, which way? To the right. Tess is inside, but where's Dan? You get Tess. I'll look for Dan. See if he took that shortcut near the lake. Oh, wait for me! That'll do it. The detonator's ready. Who's that? It's Darren. There he 
he is. He ran back to the detonator. Now I'll have all the proof I need. That's what you think. Ugh. What was that? It's all gone. Well, the mine is under the lake. It's flooded. I heard an explosion. They blew up the mine. Tess, Daisy, Susan, and Kuma are in there. My sisters and your daughter are in the mine. We didn't know. What's happening? Oh. stolen 20 years ago. Right. The mayor told us a plane carrying the gold crashed in the lake and sunk. The mayor and the sheriff were the only people who knew about it. They were using the gold to try to keep their city from turning into another ghost town. They meant well, but the gold didn't belong to them. Even though I'm sure the judge will take that into consideration. I hope so, for Susan's sake. Speaking of Susan, look. Uh, see you later. Hi, Susan. I'm so sorry, Dan. Sorry for what? Oh, sorry for all the trouble my father put you through. That's all right, Susan. He thought he was doing the right thing. Would you like some ice cream? <laughs> Before it becomes whipped cream? That <laughs> sounds great. Oh, my darling, oh, my darling, oh, my darling Clementine. You are lost and gone forever. Dreadful sorry, Clementine. What the... <laughs> <laughs>